Yo, what's up YouTube family? It's your boy Koozie back at you with another hot TikTok reaction video. Today we're gonna react to some creepy and bizarre TikTok reactions. I'm talking about the kind that's gonna have you rethinking reality. With that said, if you're new to the channel, go ahead, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I drop some new hot content that you definitely don't wanna miss. One more thing, these videos are for entertainment purposes only. Don't believe anything that you hear or see in these videos. Don't believe anything that I see in these videos. Always use your own discernment. Always, always, always do your own research let's go baby okay guys so word on the street is, is that these people show up at a cemetery in chicago in the middle of the night and they see this and not only do they see this but check this out look at the light and watch the being or the demon that turns its head mm -hmm. okay you see how the reaction is now obviously it could just be a teenager playing a prank. We know that. But we like to delve into the mysterious aspects of these videos. So I just want to say, you know, what if it's real? Who is it? And what is it up to? What's it doing? These are the things I'm asking you guys. I'm not saying I believe it's real at all. I'm not saying that in the least. But I'm saying the truth is definitely stranger than fiction. I also threw this out on Facebook Reels. I thought it was rather interesting. I received this this morning. I've been putting and editing videos together all day, and this was one that stood out to me. So I'm interested to hear what you think. Is that a car light? I mean, that's probably, you know, in all honesty, that's probably what that is. Uh, but anyway, leave your comments. Let me know what you, what you think. A recent archaeological discovery mm -hmm. in Egypt unearthed a figure of a pharaoh with eptilian features. The figure with a leathery surface suggests it's not a statue, but a real being reported to be nine to foot with an injury under its left armpit. Maybe its cause of death. It wasn't mummified, instead it was buried unmarked in the Valley of the Kings, Egypt. Is it true Man, y'all think that was CGI? What? Let me know what you think. I don't know personally. I, I I think that was real. I think both of them were real. The demon and the reptilian pharaoh. That our military at one time had a textbook that would tell the cadets that there are four different alien species that you might possibly encounter. The different kinds of beings and how many they think there are. I'll give you a cool story. You'll like this. Okay. I, I talked before about the paper trail, how there is a document, a, a do, trail of documents that you can look at. There was a chapter in an, a textbook being used at the U.S. Air Force Academy. And until UFO people found out about it, it, this is what they were teaching our best and brightest pilots at the Air Force Academy. And that chapter said, in the course of your career as an aviator, you're likely going to encounter one of these things. Here's what we know about them. There are four we know that there are four different alien races visiting this planet and they've been here for thousands of years. There's four different races and they've been here for thousands of years. This is what I want you guys to do. Tell me which four races have been here for thousands of years. Leave your comments. This is Fallen Angel. How many of y'all were waiting on the four races? Yeah, me too. <laughs> Let me know what four races do you think been here since the beginning of time and for thousands of years let me know in the comment section those four races other than the greys and the reptilians and the pleiadians it's one more let me know technology humans cannot do this what you're looking at by the way that's a hair what you're looking at is an apple chip a processor chip under a microscope it's literally impossible we can do what you're about to see it's quite obviously magic. It's literally magic. Like it's always been since the beginning of time. Fallen angels giving us crazy technology that we could otherwise not do. If you think that humans could just out the blue do this, then you are fooled. This is literally a copycat, a mimic of God's creation of the earth on a microscopic level. I mean, look how the cities are laid out. Like in the stars, you can see a grid pattern, like an energy pattern that exists. Do you know how close in we are right now? This is so ridiculous to think that we could even do this. Our phones are literal black mirrors that we are holding in our hand. It's literal black magic. Literally, you can watch somebody else's life even further. If, if you're a hacker, you can hack into someone's phone and see what they're doing at the moment exactly like a crystal ball in a diviner. Really quickly, just for perspective, this is the zoom out. 
like how small this is is freaking ridiculous that we could ever even you know create at such a small uh microscopic level it is not human i'm telling you it's not human hey, um that's definitely follow angel tech you don't have to agree with me you don't have to agree with him but like i say do your own research and always do your own discernment we can't we could never we could have never done nothing like that by ourselves we, that's like thousands of years ahead of our time tell me filming it getting them on radar all this stuff then how they, are they behaving so they weren't doing extreme movements but i have been able to contact some of the helo pilots right and these things were self-luminous they were illuminated and they actually were going into the water if not out from the water i know for sure they were going into the water Okay, so I'm going to be breaking down some of these podcasts, and the fact that they're going into the water is nothing new. They're seeing these over and over, the gimple, the go fast, all these videos. The jellyfish alien actually went into the water, stayed in the water for 15, 20 minutes, then shot back out of the water. We haven't even got to see that footage yet, but there's no doubt in my mind that Jeremy Corbell, George Knapp, are not just wasting their time doing this, making up an act and a hoax for everybody. So you know that what they're researching is real. And not to mention, there's so much footage footage that they haven't put out because they're scared to put it out because as journalists they really can't they don't have to uh, the laws for journalists they don't have to even give their information or their source to anyone so that's one of the laws of being a journalist at the same time they keep asking this question and i'm going to be breaking this segment down because there was probably more ufo information i've heard in this podcast than i have with anything other than the grush uh, podcast and i'm telling you now that national security is a reason is a reason you might not think so but if you if you don't think so then you don't know much because these things are activating and deactivating nuclear weapons that's a national security threat oh no it's not no they're not it's not a national yeah think about it that's a national security and this not happened once it's happened several times it's happened in russia it's happened in the united states i don't know about china i don't know about these other countries but guys, this is nothing new. And what is the fanatical, the crazy thing, or the fantastical thing that they can't tell you about UFOs? What is it that is so horrifying and so disturbing that you should should know? Absolutely. That's probably some of it, but that's not the main reason. The main reason is if they release any of this technology, guess what's going to happen? Somebody else picks it up. Guess what happens? The more you research it, the more you know not everybody doing this is just trying to cover up because they say it's national security. Lou Elizondo was put down so much for saying these same things. Oh, yeah, he's a mo Yeah, he's definitely disinformation because all he talks about is national security. If you don't think it's a national security threat, then you don't know anything. Because something that can deactivate our nukes and activate them and then uh, act like they're nothing, yeah. It's a problem. That's probably a problem. Yeah, leave your comments. This video is gonna be a bit different. Man. I'm gonna show you guys tons of UFO footage that I have in my collection over the last few months only. And I wanna know why the government has not said anything about all of this crap. Like right here, the sun comes out the ocean and goes straight up into the sky. What is this? Why has no government addressed it? Again, this is a small portion of all the videos I have. And the governments are literally speechless. They don't say anything unless they're meeting, uh, having counsel behind everybody's back. Most of these aren't even in the United States, guys. They're everywhere, and no one's saying anything but Peru. You know, Peru said they said it because the U.S. would not hurry up and say it. Do y'all really not think it's about to go down? I mean, this literally looks like the Arby's commercial about the potato cakes, the return of the aliens, remember? And with the return of all these UFOs, just like in ancient Egypt and ancient cultures, I want to show you something that's weird to me and that's happening. These things that they claim is Starlink have happened for decades before Starlink was ever even a thing. I'm convinced that Starlink was made Man, to cover up the on. tracks of fallen angels, demons, and all sorts of principalities and things flying around. Well, I could literally go on for hours. The weirdest thing about the whole thing is nobody saying anything. Shout out to him and shout out to Guitar Miles, man. They be having that content. I ain't gonna lie, man. I couldn't do it without these.
Ticks are created just like I could do without God, y'all. You know, I got to get the glory to that man. But uh, y'all, and I couldn't do it without y'all. Appreciate y'all too. So y'all don't forget to, you know what I'm saying? Share these videos, man. It's Friday. People need to soak up some of this good game and this knowledge, man. For real, for real. But like I always say, y'all don't fall for the boo boo, man. I would do your own research and always use your own discernment. Let's get it. seven alum or alum is like a parallel universe it's really really close to ours it's like alternative world for the ones who may not know y'all know you've heard of the multiverses yes they are real when you were there in hell um i've heard testimonies in which people saw demons that looked like those superheroes that we see on TV, like Spider-Man, Batman, Pokemon, Teenage Mutant the Turtles, Power Rangers, but they were all more evil looking and more ugly looking. And yeah. they said that they were actually demons in hell that gave the inspiration to Hollywood directors to make those movies and TV shows about them. Did you see something like that? I've seen plenty. Um, there was this one, I was describing to my son, because uh, I don't like watching Hollywood and stuff too much. I really don't watch movies and stuff. Like, for years, I really try to stay away from stuff. But I was describing this one demonic thing, and my son said, Dad, I need you. He said, I know you don't watch this stuff, but I need you to look at something. It's this movie called Jeepers Creepers, okay? Jeepers Creepers. And it's this reptilian thing with wings. They had to have that contact with that guy because that's how a lot of those, because you had flying ones, you had, you had some demons that were like this big. They're all different sizes, all different shapes. But when I, when I saw that thing on that movie, Jeepers Creepers, I knew Hollywood is in tune with hell. So you're absolutely right. There are so many things, but that's the only one that I personally saw because some of these things are so morbid. So many things are so bad, Hollywood can't even reproduce some of these things. As far as you talking about the superheroes and things like that, of course, the word the superhero is nothing but the Nephilim. The fallen angels, right? When the, when the fallen angels came down and mixed with humans, right? They created men of renown, right? Heroes, okay? So what they doing is taking the divine fallen divinity and mixing with humanity. And that's why they created the superhero. So of course it all comes from hell. But you, there are so many things that we haven't even seen yet. I seen a couple of uh, one more. The Smurfs. I don't know if y'all old school. Y'all remember the Smurfs? Yeah. They got demons in hell. That's where the Smurfs come from. That cartoon wow. the Smurfs. They have little blue demons. That's why you got the gnome. What you call the little things? The little gnomes. The little things with the little hats. The little... No, those are real demons. Those are things that like they really exist. They really look like that too. Like that's the thing. So you were absolutely correct. Yeah, what you said about that monster from Jeepers Creepers, I heard the same thing, and other people who have seen uh, Predator, Alien, all those movie monsters down there in hell, they're actual demons. They look like that. Yeah, they look. They got that reptile, I'm telling you. Most of them got that reptilian look. They reptile. They got that reptilian look. I don't care what nobody's talking about. They even walking around here on Earth right now. They, I'm telling you, they are reptiles. They are ancient. They are very ancient, and they are real. I promise you. So, and they all have that reptilian theme to them. But some of them look like the, 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 in the days of Noah, how they trying to redo now, how they splicing half bull, half human, half, I saw a lot of that. Oh yeah, they half goat, you know what I'm saying? Half buffalo, I'm talking about the weirdest splices of things. 
that exist in hell too. So, and they trying to replicate that as you can see, they've been doing that, but that's another story. So I'm glad, I, I, hopefully God willing, you will have me back and we can go deep into that type of stuff as well. So Yes, uh, let us know in the comments if you want Brother Dominic to come back and do a more in-depth teaching on the Nephilim, um, on the yes. Marine Kingdom. Those are two awesome topics that I've yes. learned a lot from. So maybe we could do a two-part series. Let yes. us know in the comments if you would like to come back. Like facts. So that's why it's good to stay away from even Hollywood. The word Hollywood was a special word used to mesmerize people, to put you in a trance. So that's why it's no confusion why it's Hollywood is the capital of illusion. Because it put you, Hollywood was the actual wood was used to put you in a trance. So these demons have to put these things in our face, but it's our, it's our lack of knowledge and research that puts us in these predicaments. So we have to start researching all of these things. You have to start taking spiritual warfare seriously, but more seriously, that authentic relationship, because that'll give you all the discernment, all the power and authority you need to navigate this world. Like it's, it's hard, I'm telling you, you all, everything is strategic, everything corresponds, everything is real, you all, everything is a trap. One thing, please people, one thing I learned in hell, the Father does not give you a gift that will take you away from Him. What I mean by that is, you know, I, I, like a couple of my friends had a brand new car. One of my friends had a brand new promotion. Congratulations. But they never had time for God no more. My friend worked so much, he stopped going, to, he stopped studying, he stopped going to Bible studies, he stopped, he was just too tired, he had to do stuff with his family. So then God was out of his, God would never give him that promotion to take God out of his life. Watch your gifts. Because God would never give you something to take away time from him. It's a trap. Lucifer gives you gifts that take you time away from God. Please remember that. Watch your gifts. And stop saying God gave you everything because you think it's good. You got to just keep it simple and evaluate. Does it add to my relationship with our Father? Or does it take time away? That's it. Keep it simple. I had, I had to tell you all that. But I saw all the remnants of what got, got these preteens and teenagers there. It was mostly technology, you all. And if you look, look, whew, it's real. And this is years ago before this stuff, the stuff that I saw, this technological garbage floating around in there with them in this mud, the sea of mud. Brother, real quick, did you see any uh, cell phones or televisions in the mud? I, so listen, that's what I'm saying. That's why it blows my mind. I'm old school. I'm 45 years old. I was born in 1979. And I've been here through this technological revolution. You see what I'm saying? I've seen, and you probably have too, brother, I was, you know, wrong. A lot of this technology that I saw didn't even exist yet when I, the stuff that I saw, like how small the cell phones that I saw that were there. But back in, when I, at that time, the cell phones wasn't that small when I passed away. I saw a lot of different remnants, a lot of, this is wrong, it's deep. And then it's like that, that darkness was alive, the mud was alive. Hey, I know you're in the middle of something, but I wonder if you just take a few seconds to pray with me real quick. And that was anchoring them in. And it, it, it was like, they, it's like, it was like they was underwater, gasping for air, even though it was out of air, but they was like trying to, they were just like trying to reach up for something. And it was millions, millions. And it what? blew my mind away. And that's what I do. That's when I learned about the age of accountability. So what was the youngest that you saw age of accountability, like eight years old? 11. Wow. That I personally know the overwhelming sense. Let me tell you something, you all. One thing I want people to know. Okay, if you if, if you look at somebody in hell, you automatically know why they're there. You, it's like you know they hold everything. The same way if they look at you, you would know every detail of their life, everything in one span, because time doesn't exist in eternity. See, we're so used to being temporal beings. We're trapped in the physical, we're trapped in time. Time is nothing but a mechanism to keep the material existence of the universe together to keep it organized. It's a measurement. But in eternity, time and all of these temp temporal rules and time, it doesn't exist. I'm telling you, you could be there for 30 seconds and it feels like a month. But no, uh, the age of 11 is what I encountered because I was looking I, I, at just one individual I looked at and he stole cars. He was using books. And it was all because of the influence of his father. His father got him drinking since he was five years old. Here, have his beer and making, bring him in front of his friends. And like you see everything, you see the whole experience. But what went wrong? What went wrong is how many times the father warns us, you all. How many times the father resets us, put us in new situations all over again, saves our lives, tell us no, don't go there. But yet we go there. But then we end up in jail. I don't know how many times I've been in jail and I woke up and whoa, father, 
like, ah, should have, I should have, I should have. That's what we say. I should have, would have, could have. And that's the biggest thing, people. The regret in hell is beyond hurtful. It is beyond the expansion of your, you can't even fathom. Listen, regret is so thick there. To move, it's like a wave. It's like, it's like you can't move in hell. It's like an invisible force. The thickness of the regret is so alive. It's like everybody's regret, every human regret in hell became its own spirit. And it is so beyond gut-wrenching. Shoulda, woulda, coulda is not even, you can take the, your most horrible regret here is paradise compared to the regret in hell. Because he shows you every detail. That's another thing. It's like another, I told people the biggest, the biggest dimension and the people, the biggest space that I saw in here were gossipers. Okay? People, I thought it would be first. I thought it would be the sex. I thought, no, 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 no. It was the biggest, biggest, and it's forever growing too. Hell is always growing. Every time it's growing. Every nanosecond, it's, it's people falling in there. So by the time we finish this, probably psh, good, good million and some just in this country fell into hell. Facts. Oh, uh, wow. It just, it moves me so much because we don't understand you all. You wouldn't even want your worst enemy to go there. It is so beyond horrible that you can't even fathom nothing. But I do want to say this. When I talk about the gossipers and the gossiping and the slandering, people don't know what in the spirit what that does. And a father cannot stand it because it's one of the worst things you can do to anyone is lie on them because you misdirect people and you destroy so many opportunities for that person. You discredit that person. That is the spirit behind that. It is all, it's a spirit. It's so demonic. And we don't know how powerful that is. And you know what hurt my heart? It was mostly Christians from the church that I saw. I don't know if he wanted me to see that, but I'm glad I saw that. It was the biggest people of the so-called church that I saw. And you know, when I instantly knew, I saw as soon as I looked at them, I saw people gossiping in church about people in the church, but then smiling in their face. Oh, hi. But then as soon as they walk off, oh, you heard about what their son is and he's in jail and blah, 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 blah. In church. And one thing I want people to know, once you give your life over to God, once you have a true surrenderance in the baptism, you get a light on your forehead in the spiritual realm. You have a light. And if you have that light and you don't use it correctly and you die, right? Because people, it's not one safe, always safe. <clears throat> That's from the pits of hell. Just because you got baptized and stuff, but you still eating off the fruit of Lucifer and the table of Lucifer, you're going to die. You're going to go to hell. This is not a one. No, it's not a one safe, always safe. But one thing that sticks with you when you go to hell is that light on your head. But you know what that does? That makes your torture worse. That gives you a signal for the demons to attack you even more because oh, you really got the signature that you only you was a traitor to them because you was eating off their table. So they really going to really kill you and tear you apart. But that light lets you know you're a traitor. And they, oh, it makes you, your light backfires on you if you misuse it. So remember our Lord said? That's what he was talking about. When he said, you better off being cold than lukewarm. That's what he meant. I'm trying to tell you people because you're going to be tagged in eternity with that light. But where you're going with that light makes you opposition beyond opposition. And you in enemy's <laughs> dimension with no assistance, you cut off from my father. So what you think is about to happen for you or to you? People, this is so real. So stop. Even, I don't want to hear nobody say, I don't gossip. Even if you listen to it, you're just as culpable. You're still going to get the same accountability. Even if you listen to it, you don't have to say anything. So move around. Don't hang around people that gossip because I'm telling you from my personal experience in hell, that was the biggest congregated section that I've seen, period. There's a section for fake pastors, and the demon will torture them with so much exuberance and so much fun, it would blow your mind what they were doing to people. Brother, I also wanted to ask you, when you saw those preachers in hell, did God tell you why they were there? For example, for not preaching yeah, against sin, for right not now. preaching against hell, for not correcting yeah. their members who were in sinful yeah. ways? Yeah, I saw the pastors that I saw in hell, they were there for, I, I remember it in detail. They were taking money, Okay? They were having sex with their church members. They were watering down the word. A lot of them behind the scenes were practicing voodoo and sensory, but then claiming Christianity were invading the churches and people's minds. Okay, They were also gossipers and slanderers. They also were competitive against other churches to knock other churches down. Yeah, so those are just seven of the, the details of why those preachers and pastors that I saw were getting there, for sure. Those are the seven major reasons why I saw. And I know for a fact, yeah. So. Okay. 
And so you said they were not preaching against sin. They were not correcting their no. church members who were engaged in no. willful sinning. They didn't say anything. Yes. They just kept no. quiet. What they did, they were portals. Those pastors and preachers and beacons, I mean, deacons and bishops were letting the church, the world into the church. They were slowly incorporating because they wanted numbers. A lot of them wanted more fame than to actually have the word to be famous. They wanted to fill in their pews for numbers instead of getting the word out. You know, they, and they, so then they start making, they start compromising our father's word. So then they made a little more elbow room. Okay, it's fine. A little more elbow room for the sake to have numbers or to, for the sake for them to be a famous pastor or a preacher. So then they made more and more leeway for people to sin. So they start condoning sin, which watered down the word, and then boom, there you go. Just like in the lustful part, I was saying before, it's a quick summary. They were raping this young lady, these demons, and some of them 15 feet tall, some of them this big, some of them my height, some of them six feet tall. But they were raping her in every crevice, from every uh, ears, eyes, they were penetrating a nose, mouth, every ripping. Listen, you all, there's nothing that is beyond the scope of what's happening. And you know what's so weird? It's happening right underneath our feet in a different dimension because hell is here on earth, but it's in a different dimension. But it's still below us. It's literally below our feet. People, right now as we're speaking, you all, that dimension getting torture is happening. People are getting dropped off. You know how many people died during this conversation? Just like the seconds are going tick, tick, tick. People are dropping without him, without no true relationship. So they automatically qualify themselves for hell and it's breaking our father's heart. You all. Hey, I hope you were paying attention because he was definitely, I mean, definitely putting you on game. And me too, because uh, I learned to listen to him too. But uh, that Jeepers Creepers thing, man, and that Hollywood thing is definitely the truth. Because I always said, where do you think they get these ideas from, man? Where do they get the ideas of to how to make these monsters and stuff look, man, in these movies? They ain't just popping up in their head out of nowhere. They're getting it from somewhere. Check this out. You can like play with the spot, oh, awesome. but uh, yeah, watch this. Just bring it over to us here. It's not crazy. No way. That's a startup called Reflect Orbital, and they allow you to order sunlight at night from your phone. The way it works is that they have a bunch of mirror satellites in space and Utility. when you order light, they just redirect they the light sunlight. from the sun all the way down to your location on Earth. And it looks like this from your location. And I guess they use this to power solar farms at night or you could maybe order it if you're lost in the forest. I feel like this video might be a fake demo. I mean, these guys had this video on YouTube five months ago where they did the same thing using mirrors and a balloon. But that's by far the craziest idea I've heard this year. It has to be illegal in some way, right? You can't just order sunlight on your friend's house at 3 a.m. Hold up, man. How, did, how you order sunlight? Man, let me know. Do you think that's real or do you think that's cap? Let me know in the so comments. So the guy section. that was talking about the dragon got banned and fired from his job because he was talking about a dragon. The dragon ain't real, right? No, come on, man. It's a, a dragon the size of a continent. So why fire him? So why ban him if it ain't real? And I heard also multiple content creators uh, with over 100K that were truth seekers or conspiracy theorists got banned too. Why ban these people if they're just no threat? I mean, ain't these people in their own little imaginary world? See, these people getting banned because they're telling the truth. They're exposing the truth. They're doing their research too. They're making it make sense to everybody. And yeah, this stuff is some unbelievable stuff, but man, they, I mean, they're making a lot of sense. It's called control media. The war on information. Man, you think that's true? That's the reason why I do got banned talking about the Leviathan, man. Who else been talking about the Leviathan and stuff on TikTok? See if they got banned. Let me know in the comment section, man. Is it really happening like that, man? TikTok don't be playing with people, man. They'll ban you for almost anything these days. High Level Wizard exposes why one of the most potent hacks won't work if you are not insane. And you sell Lamborghinis, Porsches, Rolls Royce, Mercedes. But there's another place that you want to own. And they sell more than you. And better cars than you. But the guy just laughs in your face. He refuses to sell. No matter how much you offer. 
he refuses to sell. So you come to the coven and you say you want something done. What can you do for me? What can we offer you? And we tell you, we can give you anything from a frozen glass of water in the freezer, which is like the most basic spell, to the evil eye, which is not, it sounds a very easy basic spell, but it's not. Uh, it's more complex. To potions, elixirs, uh, chants, incantations, all the way up to an abortion, which is a hex. And you're desperate. You've tried, you've tried everything with this guy. Nothing works. What will happen if, let's say you paid $10 million and you got a, you got a hex? What's going to happen? Well, you're going to end up with the business, most likely. We can't guarantee how it will happen. It will happen however the devil wants it to happen. You just have to be okay with you just made a deal with the devil. If you're okay with that, then we'll hand this off to one of our high wizards and he'll do it. Okay, so there's different levels of spells that uh, a wizard or a high wizard can do. The highest one which is the most expensive and the most likely to work is a hex, and that requires yes. an abortion, like you said. Yes. Uh, do you know how this works? How can you do an abortion and have whatever you want to happen? Do you have any idea of how that works, or is that kind of like a mystery? You do. Um, you have an area that's set up with your altar and everything on it. You need your magic spell. And then... You pretty much go in and do most of your magic spell. Then you go do your abortion. And when you do your abortion, you have to get blood on your hands because you need that blood in the hex. Then you go back to your, your altar and you, you do your hex. Now, when you're doing magic, basically what you're doing is run to Satan to attach a demon to someone. Okay. Right? Every curse is basically Crazy. the same. But let's say that let's say that I send a demon to somebody and uh, now a single curse Ooh, excuse me, is God. as it implies. The demon goes one time. So he goes one time and that person's in a state of grace. So goes, person's in a state of grace, Demon leaves. You know, the curse doesn't there. Hex, hex is a different story. Okay. Let's say I do a tri curse. In a tri curse, the demon's going to go three times. So let's say he's going to go today at noon, tomorrow at four p.m., and in two weeks he's going to go again at two p.m. So he does all three of those, and all three times, that person's in a state of grace. So my spell doesn't work. However, let's say it's a hex instead. So in a hex, I did an abortion. So the demon goes to that person and goes, oh, you're in a state of grace? No problem. I'll wait. So he just stands around and waits. And as soon as that person goes into a state of cardinal sin, the little sin, then he attaches. Okay, that makes sense. Let me know what you think about that in the comment section. But never forget, no one's perfect. We all sin. So, I will, I mean, I don't know how true that's going to be. Did you see that the FDA just recalled 28 drinks for having ingredients not listed on the label? And that 24 of these drinks contained drugs, bacteria, and harmful chemicals that were not disclosed on the labels. Now, maybe it's just me thinking this, but... If Y'all may want to go back and screenshot that man or pause it and see what drinks too. A regular person drugs someone, wouldn't they be going to jail? Well, apparently it's no big deal if you're just selling sport drinks. Martinelli's apple juice contained high levels of 
arsenic, Ooh. no big deal. And some of the drinks Excuse had red me, 40 dog. and yellow five, virus. but didn't list them. And you can't even use these without a special label in Europe. But in the United States, they put these dyes in candy made for children. And this is why I write books on healthy eating, as well as the corruption of the food system. Because people make the mistake of blindly following the FDA. Like, yeah, they'll make sure you don't bite into a hamburger and drop dead. But they do allow what they call acceptable levels of toxins. So for people who are unaware of this, it's toxins for breakfast, toxins for lunch, toxins for dinner, day after day, week after week, year after year. Well, what's the result of that? This is why I encourage families to teach their kids about processed foods as early as possible. Teach them about Red 40 and Yellow 5, how to make healthy alternatives, like do-it-yourself laundry detergent, and to make gardening and food preservation a way of life. Check out my private homeschool community and my books on healthy living, morality, the Bill of Rights, and so much more. ClassicalLearner.com Man, there's a lot of stuff out there that we consume that is not good for us with these type of chemicals in them. Red 40 and Yellow 5, man, those are just the couple of them just the name right quick man we're are in almost everything that we consume these days y'all so we got to change our diets man i know y'all see me yawn it's the virus man uh, uh for the ones that know uh if it, i don't want y'all thinking i'm only just getting loaded and then this is a fruit smoothie i made with pineapple blueberries papaya seeds and uh what was the other one bananas and uh yeah it's helped me it helped me feel a little better so uh that's why you know but uh y'all this end of the video y'all let me know if y'all like it and if you're new to the channel don't forget to like subscribe and hit the comment i mean if you like the video and you want to see more videos like this don't forget to like subscribe and uh get in the comment section y'all for more it's your boy Kuzi. i'm out see it kind of got me discombobulated y'all but it's all good man y'all bear with me but uh it's your boy Kuzi. i'm out holla catch you next video